This stands a 2014 question. Appeared from the topic statistics and averages, medium level difficulty question. The dear in the question level, the Naraya concept plan test panarum stand. We'll have a look at it. If the first term of the data set x, y, z is 3, in the data set, there are three terms. And the moon first term of the value is 3. What is the third term is what we need to find out. And the statement follow that. One is the range of this data set is 0. The second one is the standard deviation is 0. As usual, let's get clarity on in the question the answer is the answer. How is the data sufficient? This is the same thing. That's why we'll evaluate the statements. If the answer is the answer, what is the third term? So we should come up with an answer saying that the third term is equal to 5. We should come up with a number which is going to be the answer to this question. So that's how we'll answer. In a third term, we'll get a value. When is the data sufficient? As I've repeated time and again with questions of this kind, when you're asked to find out what is the value of something, the data is sufficient only when you're able to get a unique value for it. More than one value, data is not sufficient. Let's start by evaluating statement 1. Statement 1 says the range of this data set is 0. So, we will understand what does the range mean. data set range The highest minus the lowest is a range for a data set. We will take an example. Let's say 5, 20, 45, 3. This is a term. Random data set. This is the highest value. The highest value is equal to 45. Lowest value is equal to 3. So, the range for this data set is equal to 42. So, highest minus lowest gives you the range for any data set. In the statement, in the moon number, in the other number, x, y, z, the moon number, that range is equal to 0. So, the highest of these numbers minus lowest of these numbers is equal to 0. The highest term is equal to the lowest term. Highest term and lowest term are one of the same. This is the term. Highest is equal to lowest. All terms are one of the same. So, x is equal to y is equal to z. That is the highest minus lowest is 0. Now, do we know any of these terms? Yes. In the moon term, this is one term, first term. That value is the moon. That is the first term, second term, third term. Third term. All the terms will be the same, which is equal to 3. We found a unique value for the third term using statement 1. So, statement 1 is definitely sufficient. Statement 1 sufficient na in the answer choice line definite arugum. 1 niche arugum, which is stating that statement 1 alone is sufficient, 2 is not. It could also be for each statement is independently sufficient. So, quick ka yadadala illio at the eliminate panerla. 2 is not there, 3 is not there, 5 is not there. So, again recapping, our answer choices will be down to 1 and 4 in the end la yadadala ondala. Let's evaluate statement 2. Statement 2 la vandhi, we know that the standard deviation of this data set is equal to 0. First of all, in the standard deviation na enna? Standard deviation na, on an average, in the data set la term na, arithmetic mean, adho oda average la rindhi, yevvada avu deviate pannudhu, avdi inga rindhi in the standard deviation ikka arithom. Standard deviation 0 na appa enna arithom? Ithi vandhi deviation ne illa en arithom. Deviation ne illa enna, what does it mean? It means that, all the elements are at the mean, which is when there is no deviation. If there are three terms, then if the mean is equal to m, all the three terms will be equal to the mean. So, m when the mean in it, and the first term x um mean arukum, second term y um mean arukum, third term z um mean arukum. Apdinala, the standard deviation is going to be equal to 0. Do we know any of these three terms? Yes, we know the first term is equal to 3, which means the second term, third term, the arithmetic mean, all of them should be 3. Have we found out the third term? Yes, we have found out the third term. Using statement 2 alone also we could find the answer. So statement 2 alone is sufficient. Let's go and check out what we were left with. We were left with choices 1 and 4. If statement 2 alone is also sufficient, statement 2 is not sufficient in the possibility of the rule out. So we'll eliminate choice 1. What we are down to is choice 4. So choice 4 is the correct answer. If you're looking for Tansert class at Chennai, Visit our website tanset.ascenteducation.com. You will find the next upcoming batches to start your preparation. Past year Tanset papers in the website, go and pick it up. You can reach us at 9600-48484. In classes are conducted by Anna University graduates, Tanset toppers, IIM graduates. So if you're keen on it, get in touch with us. Here is a link to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Tanset MBA. 
இங்கே வந்து ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் டான்சர்ட் பேப்பர்ஸோட சொல்யூஷன் எல்லாம் வீடியோவில் இருக்குது சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு இட் ப்ரொடெக்ட்